so there are so many ways to add a smooth effect to a picture there are so many shapes i will start with the basic one that you guys can make use of which is my Eclipse Mark 2 so once i click on it i hold my shift key down and i'll drag it over the area uh, i want to apply my smooth effect the reason why i'm holding down my shift key is i want to be i want the circle to be perfect so i will adjust it to the location i want it to be so now i'll go to my curve adjustment layer over here click on it then i will go to my curves click on curves so this time around i'm going to be increasing it as you can see automatically we have a smooth effect but the shape is too perfect we are going to adjust that right now you can still increase it or reduce it a little bit so i'll double click on my marks over here double click on it so I'm going to feather it. As you can see, you can feather it or you can go back, go to your blow, filter, blow, then Gaussian blow. Once you click on it, increase the size. As you can see, we have our nice little effect. And if the blur is too much, you can just decrease it. So you see, picks. So this is the first type. The other one, you can just go and pick any shape. You can pick any shape from our shape tool we have over here. Long click on it, click on customize custom shapes. Then you can pick any shape from over here. You can pick any shape from here or you can decide to drop your own your own shape actually i have one shape I'm, i've been making use of uh, i'm going to pick it i call it the window frame so i'll select my file this is my three files i've been using i can just click on any one i saved it as a psd psb file so i'm going to open it first before i'll be able to make use of it so this is the file over here, I'm just going to drag it to my work layer. So I'll transform it, control C. So I will increase the size till I see it. I'm going to increase it. So I'm going to control click on it, control and click on it. Once it gives me uh, this selection, so I can just switch it off right now. I'll stick with my curve adjustment layer again. Uh, go to my curve again. Increase the size, increase the brightness. As you can see, if it's too much, you can just decrease it. So this time around, we'll stick with our blur again. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So you can just increase your blur so you see fit it to match as you can see we have a perfect smooth effect uh, the reason my smooth is this perfect it's supposed to be like this it's supposed to be over my model but i've already cropped out my model over here i have to turn off all my layers right now and i have only my model uh, layer at the top so you can as well crop it out before you apply your smooth effects or you can just clean it up using the clip the layer marks so thanks guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question i'll drop my whatsapp number below you can contact me there